So Capitillo. Like, these guys are crazy. Yeah, he's crazy. Well, from there I started joking about this yeah, stuff, you know? Yeah, yeah. What advice would you give him, Capitillo, being that you've been in big world title fights, Tyson Fury, Magdaleno, a bunch of these guys? What would you say? Well, I'm gonna, I'm gonna um, give you the, the more basic and most important advice. Hands up, jab, and move your head. That's, if you stay disciplined enough, that will be more easy for you to perform. Keep your hands up so you can block. Use your jab for your range. You know what I mean? And, and, and not stationary because you can be a targeting. So if you can put it in work. It will be more easy for you to perform. You know what I mean? And run. Run, run, run like Forrest Gump. <laughs> Coach Mike, you've been watching him spar. Uh, talk a little bit about his sparring sessions and his progression from day one to where we're at now. Oh man, from day one, uh, well, we, day one we weren't having him spar. We did, we we barely, we were just working on having a move, and then we went from really focusing on like fundamentals of footwork. I wanted to make sure he knew how to defend punches before I got him in there. But not only that, I wanted to make sure he knew how to counter a punch. I didn't want to just throw him in there and be like, here's offense, and then figure out defense and how to counter. So we focused on footwork, defense, countering, and I had those things programmed in. After that, then we started sparring, and we still kind of took it easy to start because, uh, um, yeah, the, the first few sessions we had him like kind of go lighter, just learn how to hit a body because it's way different hitting a body than hitting pads. And then um, after those sessions, we did start to pick it up, uh, came out to L.A., had some good experiences, uh, good and bad, but I take the bad as good because we get to learn from them. And uh, any any hard sparring session in camp is just a learning session for us. So uh, we took from that and came back up and got better. And every session since then, it literally week to week, he gets better and better. Uh, you know, it's always like a roller coaster though. Some some days uh, we're in there looking really good, moving the head, everything's going well. Other days the body doesn't respond as well. And man, fuck it, it's a hard sport and it's emotional too. Very so, uh, very emotional. But um, yeah. The, the, the hard days are emotional, and the, uh, the good days are emotional, but in a really positive way. So, so Idubs, when you first got in there sparring for the first time, talk about that first sparring session. Like, what was going on in your head? Uh, I'm not used to getting punched at all. I've <laughs> never been in a fight in my life until I started, uh, you know, boxing. Um, so it was, it was all a new experience for me. Never played a competitive sport. So, you know, gamer. <laughs> so, so, so then we ask. I mean, you know, stepping in the ring, you got to have a lot of balls, dude. So, so why, why are we doing all this crazy stuff? Uh, gotta grow. Gotta, you know, change. Gotta do things different. <laughs> um, and uh, yeah, it's, it's explore uh, new roads. And Climb new mountains that have never been climbed, stuff like that. Absolutely, I, I don't know. That's that's um, I don't know, giving me the most uh, perspective, enjoying my life. So I got to keep doing different things. Talk a little bit about the charity part of this. You know, a lot of the net profits, or all of the net profits, are going to charity. Mm -hmm. um, do we have a certain charity, or is it kind of just going to be uh, whatever YouTuber you know wants to? to donate how's the charity going to happen uh, we're trying to keep it open we really like alzheimer's uh well we don't like it <laughs> we dislike it right uh but it affects a lot of our uh fighters family and friends so uh that's one of the charities that we're uh trying to focus on but we're trying to keep it open so if anything uh, if anything, you know, changes, maybe we, uh, find a, a boxing specific charity that we want to support, uh, we can support it. We're trying to spread the love as much as possible. Yeah, we want to, they want to do something for uh, boxing like youth in a um, underprivileged area so that way we can actually put some money back into that and then get back to the sport. Oh, nice. Capitillo, don't you have a youth program? Yeah, I have a youth program where uh, we use scholarship. I mean, uh, if any kid for, we don't let any kid go for money reasons. Like if the kid wants to stay here, man, I ain't got the heart to tell him. Man, you know, unfortunately you can't be here because you, you, your dad didn't pay, you know what I mean? I, I, I can, bro. So we have many, many kids that, uh, that we spoke to the dad and said, listen, if the kid wants to stay here, wants to stay here, come, please don't, don't forget about the money. When, when you get in truck, you don't have to pay the months from behind you. 
you know, get get back so we can help them all at once, but the, the kids stay. Mm -hmm. and, but obviously, if the kid don't want to stay, or it's not happy in the place, I mean, there's no reason to have it. So we focus on those kids that really put in the work and can really want to be here. And, and we always need my wife, my kids always try, try to, the money can be can be the, the reason why the kids go back. You know, get out of the